Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. We're back with another digital interview with me, Manny Supreme, and I'm here with uh, Mr. Yeah Yeah himself. <laughs> Rob 49 is in the building. What's up, with y'all, man? How you feeling, man? Good, man. What you want? You in the A? Nah, I fuck with the A. In, in, the, in the Nike Tech? You know, it's cold out here, surprisingly. Yeah, it's cold out here. Like, yeah, it's a perfect day to wear Nike Tech. Facts, facts. How you feeling today, man? You in the A? What, what you doing? You working? Um, How you? Yeah, I'm out say I'm out to um, go to the studio tonight. For sure. Try to finish my tape up. For sure. And then just chill, probably. You know, you know, with the A. It's so much you can get into. With the A, the best thing to do is stay inside, if you know what I mean. Yeah, true. True, (laughs) true. Um, I want to get straight into it, man. First off, your energy on stage, right? When I seen you, I don't remember where you were at. It looks like a homecoming somewhere, but it was just a bunch of flashlights. You running through, like, jump right on the stage, whole crowd screaming the song. Nah, for sure. Word for word, even before you even get on the mic. Like, Mm -hmm. how big is it as being, like, being an artist with having, like, all that energy and being on stage and knowing how to perform? I ain't gonna lie, being on stage and how to perform everything because that's where the money at. Mm-hmm. Because they ain't trying to come see no nigga who just stand on stage and just be like high off drugs with the facts, head down. Facts. Like, nigga, you, you gotta shit. be up. Yeah, you gotta be up. So yeah. that's the biggest thing. We in it for the money, so yeah. you gotta put on the show every time. Was that your first time like being in front of a crowd and seeing like everybody like that many people like nah, screaming? I never had a trash show for like, real? ever in my life. Like it ain't I never been one show. that was like eh. I ain't gonna lie, even the trash shows was lit. Like, it was up? Man, listen, I was at a show one time, I think it was in Lafayette. Uh-huh. It had like, they probably had 20 people in the crowd, bro, I swear mm-hmm. to God. But all 20 was on that. Hey, was I wasn't on. even the headline, it was somebody else's shit. How long ago was this? That was like, that was like probably a year and a half ago. That was before Watch Island. That's crazy. That's yeah, hard, though. Ain't, ain't none of them after that, like, at all. Like, it was just straight up after that. Straight up after that. That's hard. <laughs> um, Louisiana, right? I seen you was posting on the ground with a Grambling University jacket, right? Yeah. How big is, like, because I, I, I ain't had a chance to go down there, but they say the HBCU culture down Man, there. Man, listen, crazy. you know what's funny? I bought that jacket. I bought that jacket before I was even, like, making music, probably. Mm-hmm. But I told myself, well I, well, I was making music, but I hadn't dropped none. Mm-hmm. I told myself, I swear to God on everything I love, I told myself, man, when um when I get big enough to perform at Grammar, I'm going to wear this jacket. That's hard. When, when my mama come here and all this over, ask her, she going to tell you, like, man, I remember you been told me that. Yeah. And I wore the jacket. That's hard. So growing up, like, was rapping always a thing? Were you planning on going to college? Like, what was that, like, that that like that like transitional period, like, even in high school and stuff? Um, growing up, I just, I just wanted to be something, like, you know what I'm saying? Where I come from, like ain't nobody never was nothing. But I ain't. I feel like if I if I ain't been nothing, I probably would have lost my mind mm-hmm. because I can't live like no regular person. Like, For sure, I just can't. No, I feel that. So like Louisiana, what is the temperament like? We all we already know it's already on ten, and like yeah. artists that come out of there, I don't really see no pop artists, right? It's just you you talking about the struggle, you talking about what's going on in everyday life. So I say all that to say, what is Vulture Island? Well, it's all in New Orleans. That's like how how Birdman and them had it, and how it, it was Chopper City when BG had like it's that's Vulture Island. That's mm-hmm. that's what it is for real. Really, that shit turned into the whole Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Cause I'm like the hottest nigga in Louisiana right now. Yeah, like coming up. So when you were younger, what were some like early musical influences that you know you going to the corner store, everybody jamming, or like you know what I'm saying the house parties back in the day? Probably like. Probably like that old Wayne, mm-hmm. like the the mixtapes, like Sorry for the Wave and shit. Like, mm-hmm. That's probably it. What's your favorite Carter? I don't like the Carters. What? I don't like the Carters. At I, all? I was into his mixtapes when he was remixing other people's shit. Like, mm-hmm. I don't, I, yeah. I, I, I yeah. wasn't into that Wayne. I liked the Dwayne when he the started dedications. wearing skinny pants. Okay, the dedications. Like that shit, like that. Yeah, like, the Gangsta Grills there. Shout out, John. Yeah, man. you see what I'm saying? The yeah. Gangsta Grills and shit. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's hard. Um, so essentially, you know, before rapping, you was about to go into the National Guard and or nursing school. Yeah. What? That's a complete, those are three different careers now, I Rob. know. Listen, you know, it's funny, brother. I look back, but I had so many lives, like. Man, like I had cat, so, you done had eight of them. Man, I swear to God, I had so many lives. I ain't gonna lie. I feel like everything I done did, I don't regret it, like, mm-hmm. because it, it taught me every. And when I go in the room mm-hmm. and they got 30 people in here, I can talk to all 30 and I be on a level mm-hmm. with everything. Like, so I don't regret nothing like ever I did in my life. And I want I want to tell my like churn, like, like whatever y'all want to be, like, y'all can really be that you shit. You can like, do that. 
Now, nursing school, though, like, were you interested in science growing up or, like? Nah, not really. I just know I wanted to help people. And my partner told me when I was young, he like, man, you can't. Because he told me he wanted to go to nursing school. And this is my best friend. I'm like, man, I'm coming, too. Like, mm-hmm. Telling me, like, man, you got to be smart to do it. Like, <laughs> like playing with me. Like, I told him, like, nigga, I'm going to do it. Yeah. So he wound up not going to college. I'm like, man, when they asked me my major and shit, keep mm-hmm. in mind I'm going to college. I still don't know what I want to do. Mm-hmm. So I just told him, like, man, tell them nursing, like. And that's what it was. So what college were you about to go to at the time? I went to Southern. I went to Southern. So you went to Southern. I went to Southern for a year. So then what happened? You turned up. Yeah. Turned too turned on too much. I ain't even turned up. I was just I was just going through a lot of that Southern. Like yeah. me and him, my brother right there, like we was homeless out there. We ain't had nowhere to stay and shit. Mm-hmm. So when COVID happened, we like, man, fuck it. Like, we just gonna start rapping. Yeah. For sure. And in the military, yeah. was that just like a... Cause you know, people make the jokes. People want to go into the military to get a Hellcat yeah. or yeah. or come here. I know you didn't see the memes on Twitter. Like, nah, what was nah. that? I, I went for college. I, I was trying to go for college mm-hmm. to get to get some free college. That's hard. That's what that was. Um, you mentioned how you signed a deal three to four months into rapping. Like, uh-huh. your blow up right is extremely fast. Cause we just talking about COVID and you was in college and then what two and a half years later you up here with us at the radio station. Like, how yeah. fast? Did you see yourself going? And then when you did it, was you know it like funny, a, bro? I got that signed. Moment? I got signed like six months into me rapping for mm-hmm. real. And I down there, I down there blew through all my money. That like you know what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. So now we back in the trenches for a good, a good like eight months, nine months. We back in the trenches just every day. I'm like, man, this shit ain't going nowhere. I'm like, fuck it, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Then I made Vulture Island, so it, it don't seem fast to me because I was going through so much and I. I was living my life day by day, like mm-hmm. so. I, I don't, I don't really feel like it was fast. Yeah. Um, with talking about Vulture Island, right? Like, how did when it when it hit and it went up, right? Yeah. Were you expecting to make a remix? Was a remix already in like you know, your thought me, process? I wasn't like, expecting to make no remix. Even when, even when, even when I got Baby on the remix, I ain't even want Baby on the remix. I'm really? like, man, tell Baby let's make another song. Because we know Vulture Island going. It's going to go, go. It's, it's gone. Now we're going to have a baby one. It's yeah. going to go like we got two songs now. Like, yeah. That's how I was thinking about it. But they're like, man, that's not how it works. You got to mm. like that. So I wasn't even looking for no remix, honestly. If not baby, who else would you have put on there? Really, the first the first, the first, first choice was Dirk. Mm. Really, the first choice was Meek. Meek was going to mm. do it. Meek hit me about doing it, but I, he ain't never had no time to lay it down. And I'm like, that's all. I'm like, fuck it. Mm. Baby sent it to me. I'm like, um, when Baby sent it to me, I sent it back to me. I'm like, man, get on here get too. Get on here too, yeah. Man, that would have been crazy, That would have been insane. Nigga, dog. He told me he was going to do it, but he, I think he ain't had no time. Yeah, like yeah, that. for sure. How did your relationship with Baby come about? Because it seemed like y'all um, y'all roll deep. Y'all roll tight together. With P. Mm-hmm. With P for real. I met P. And they asked me. Dirk couldn't do that. Dirk was, I think he was going through something. I think he was mm-hmm. off the internet or something. So he wasn't really doing no features or something. Mm-hmm. So they like, who else you want? I'm like, man, tell baby, get on it. I just was throwing it. You yeah, know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, You throwing up that see if it's going to catch. Because that's like me saying, oh, yeah, tell Jay-Z. <laughs> yeah. That's exactly how I treated it. Like, man, yeah. tell baby. Like, because I'm like, fuck it. I, I ain't never think he was really going to do that, Don't bitch. I swear it. to God. Then one day I seen that boy on Instagram freestyling to the beat. Mm-hmm. But he had his phone in his hand, and I ain't stupid. Like, he doing this. Uh, 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 uh. I said, oh, he right to this bitch. <laughs> so he about to, he about to oh, really, he about to give you something. And they see me that bitch the next morning. I'm like, man, this bitch hard. Man, him playing that bitch all day. Back to back. You like, it's over. Man, man listen, as soon as they see that bitch to me, I go on my files. You know, you get the you get the name of your files. <laughs> yeah. Put Rod from Nine, ex little baby. Like, that look <laughs> that, good. That look good. Right <laughs> that shit look good. That's hard. <laughs> Even with the video, so was it your idea to like go back to the hood? Like yeah, everybody they come? were trying to make the video be in Miami. I'm like, man, y'all ain't y'all ain't y'all ain't understanding the y'all ain't understanding the shit behind it. Mm-hmm. I really wanted to do half half of the video in my project and half of the video throwing like a private party, mm-hmm. so they can understand the vibe of the song. Like mm-hmm. it's a project, it's some project shit. Yeah. At the same time, it's for lit situations. Like you yeah, know what I'm saying? For sure. Yeah. The energy seemed like it was there, and just like. You know, like you said, you you the hottest one in Louisiana right now. Like, what does that mean? Like having your city on your back like that? I ain't lying. I was just talking to bro. It's like, it's like now nah, it's time to go get them. Like you got to go get everybody else out. Mm-hmm. Like all them rappers and shit. It don't matter. We don't like each other. Nothing. Like come on, man. Like mm-hmm. I changed my family life. Like everybody deserves this chance. Like mm-hmm. so that's what it really about. Like just passing that shit back down. Most definitely. 
Um, now, you mentioned you've been in the studio, right? You're working on this new project, Trippy Red, Lil Dirk, the baby, Vori. Who you feel like has given you the hardest feature? No such thing. Everybody's feature was hard. We're not doing that. <laughs> well, what are, well, well, let's talk about it. Like, working with Trippy Red is a completely different vibe than the yeah. baby, right? Like, how are you able to master both sides with rap, right? Because I was listening to all the type of shit coming up. Like, mm-hmm. like I remember I remember my same partner, like, he, he, he put me on Frank Ocean. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, we in what's, your Frank o- what's your favorite Frank Ocean? Man, I like the, the whole Blinded album. That, that shit is crazy. crazy. That bro. is a crazy album. That's a crazy. That crazy. But yeah. shit like that, like I really listen to this shit. Like so, I studied music before I even started making music. Mm. Like studying my voice. I used to be in that motherfucker making voices and shit. So mm. when I when I, I knew it, if I start doing it, I'm just gonna do it at the highest level. And how to come out with it? Yeah, for how to come out with it? That's all. Right. Now speaking of coming out with stuff, you got a cologne, right? Yeah, I got to come on. Man, listen, I'm so sorry I ain't bring y'all nothing, You should have brought us some, man. I feel man. lame I'm as a motherfucker. I'm I feel mad. lame, bro. I feel so lame, bro. Because I watched your interview. Shout out Wallow and Gilly, man. And you were saying how you went to the store, the cologne, looking like $500 and stuff. So, like, what was your initial thought of just, like, I need to have something for myself? I ain't lying. It wasn't even my thought. My thought was, like, real estate and doing shit that everybody mm-hmm. else was doing. My daddy really came to me, like, because I was doing clothes, too. Mm. My daddy came to me like, man, he came to me with it. It, it was like some goddamn blunt spray bottles yeah. at first. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, dad, we going to do it. We got to do it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got to get the bottle. We got to get the packaging. Like, we, we got to look legit. Make it look good. You know what I'm saying? So we did that. And I'm like, I'm like, man, this shit could work. Like, and I ain't even really, I ain't really even do nothing with it yet. But mm. when I do it, it's going to go. I'm telling you. For sure. That shit going to go. Are you planning like commercials and like. You, you know like how I know it's going to go, though? <laughs> hey, Lord, G, listen to this. You know how I know it's going to go? Because ain't no way we talking about it this much in every interview, and we ain't never even said nothing about it. Like, mm. You see what I'm saying? Like, Imagine if you say something about it. They ain't even that shit going to be yet. crazy. Yeah, for sure. Niggas yeah. going to be like, man, this nigga got cut a long. Like, but see, you know what's funny, bro? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's fucking me up. I got to start listening to my daddy because he told me. Uh-huh. He said, man, they're going to look at you different with this. Yeah. They're going to know you ain't here to play. It's a product, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. the music is one thing, but then it's like... You got a product, and you're not coming to a nigga saying, yeah, um, I'm trying to start it. No, I got it. Mm. Like, you you want to hop on board or what? It's like, already If not, we're going to go. Yeah. So, Definitely. yeah. That's hard. Um, Going back to it, right, when explaining how fast you, you came up, I saw on the DJ Small Eyes interview, you said you made up to 300000 in one month. Yeah. With being a rapper and... and Spending so much money on different things. You also mentioned, you know, you'll thug it in some Walmart sweats now. Mm-hmm, for now sure. So, like, what's a regular day outfit for uh, for Rob for nine? Uh-huh. Is you know Walmart sweats the way to go? Because you're making me say, think like I don't need when, these. When I say I'm when I say well. when I say Walmart sweats, I'm 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 saying like I go get the Reebok sweats. Like they sell Reebok sweats at yeah, Walmart. Yeah. I get the Reebok shirt, yeah. the dry fish shirt. I got the slides on. Yeah. And you fly, you got to cut. You you him. I, got, I'm, I always have a watch or a wristband or something on. So to make it be all right now. Man, like, all right, I'm him. Like, sure. you going to know it is me. Big time. Yeah, so really, it's, it. that shit just come in you. Like, anything you put on got to be on on swag. Got to be on 10. When it come on. Um, definitely. But also with, you know, mentioning everything, you know, gun violence is a, a big thing that's going on. Yeah. And I feel like musically, you know, it adds to it somewhat. And just, you know, in the climate that we're in, and, like, I just want to know personally, like, how has it affected you? And, like, what's your thoughts and viewpoint on, like, what it's doing in the rap game right now? I mean, it's like, as much as you want, as much as you want, as much as you want to fix this shit, it's like, it don't matter how long, how long this shit goes, it's going to keep going. Like, mm-hmm. like, Tupac talked about it, Biggie talked about it, like, and it's, it's it's 30, 40 years later, and it's still going to be talked about. So they just don't want to hear nothing else. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what we live in. Yeah. So we might as well talk about it. Yeah. But they just don't want to hear nothing else. For sure. Like, if you if you on this motherfucker talking about, it's, it's easier for a nigga to say, run with a stick, than saying, I put my mind to it. It's easier mm-hmm. for a nigga to say that, and they're they going to feel let stick shit better than this. And so yeah. it's like, fuck it, all right. Do you feel like it can be a a time and change where that narrative does change, where, you know, people I, want to hear I about you starting your own business. Or, I want it to be. I want it to be, but honestly, I, I just don't see it happening. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I really don't see it happening. For sure. Um, first off, we, we're so glad you're good after the situation. Um, mm-hmm. But initially, when everything had went down, like, what was the first thing that went through your mind? 
I'm just glad I'm straight for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just keep going. Yeah. That's, that's what went through my head. For sure. Um, with, you say, you know, you provide for a lot of people. You got the deal, had to take care of a lot of people. You know, talk about stability and how important that is with even once you get in it and, like, maintaining it. And then being able to build a business and, you mm-hmm. know, do trucking and then do real estate I'm and how to hold it. That shit. That shit not easy at all. Like, but stability is everything because you ain't gonna be able to rap your whole life. Rap is hot for at least three, four years. Like, so you gotta squeeze it because stability is everything. You ain't gonna be able to rap. Like, you gotta start some other shit. Like, mm-hmm. you just got to. Are you gonna be broke? For sure. That's it. Who is some newer, younger artists that you listening to right now? Um, I'm listening to listening to the Law G. He from New Orleans. I really be listening to a lot of New Orleans artists. Um, Black Migo. Mm-hmm. Um, who else I be listening to? Damn, that's about it. I don't really know no young rappers coming up. So you only me. listen to folks who from the city for real? Yeah, I only listen to my niggas for real. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't really it. be having time to even listen to other niggas. I feel it. I feel it. I listen to bigger niggas. Like I probably only listen to Future. Mm-hmm. That's the only other. What's your favorite Future to. song? But everything, bro, that shit hard. Bro. <laughs> I ask for that all the time, and they say the whole catalog. Yeah, that shit hard. I, feel my fi- I ain't gonna lie, my favorite Future song probably, probably Wait For You. Really? But I've been a Future fan since he came out. Like, Wait For You just crazy. Why he it did that? Hit, like that? Do hit. That's more on his, like, simp side, though. You, so, oh, you, so, you, so, you, so you don't like it when he, when he talking that talk. Who? Yeah. Oh, you talking about that side? I'm talking about that side. Man, I, I ain't talking lie. about the soft side. Listen, the love my favorite song side. by him, probably, like, that bitch probably a feature. That feature, that Teddy Club up with Vezel. Oh, bro, that feature Oof. is crazy. That's some serious, definitely. That bitch in that um, in that Boys Eye too. That shit yeah, hard as a Richie. motherfucker for sure. Boy, that's one of the man, ones. That nigga verse is that's crazy on that for sure. Um, so for God too, on the way. Yeah. Um, what? How do you expect your fans gonna react to it? Man, they gonna fuck with that shit. How long you been working on it? I ain't even been really working on it. Like, I just been making music. Now mm-hmm. I'm like, I I just won't drop because I'm playing on myself. Like, I got over a thousand unreleased songs. Yeah. Like, what is you doing? Like, bro? <laughs> Put you, it on one. Put it you, all together. You, you really ain't dropped nothing since Vulture Island. Like, yeah. what you playing for? You dropped three songs since Vulture Island. Man, we time. not playing with them no more. We dropping full tapes this year. Definite, Straight up. Definite. Definite. Okay, for sure. For sure. For sure. If, if we got to work it out with the label, I got to get this bitch with <laughs> Man, listen, it's good. Come on, we got we got feed this shit. Man. You drive bring back sure. them M's yeah. anyway. Yeah, big time. We'll bring back the M's. Hey man, I appreciate you coming in, What's sitting that, down with us, man, for sure. How old you is? Twenty two, man. Most definitely. You rocking with? You, Most you definitely. Vibes. You see what we working on? Most definitely. Hey, look, wait. When you when you drop your second tape, I need a feature. I need, I need, I need, I need to say man. something. No, I need to do something. Yo, young nigga trying to do something. Okay, for Most sure. Definitely. We locked in. Hey, you, you got to check on that now. We on camera. Okay, we in there then. Rob for a feature but, man. But, hold on. We're going to dab it off again. You got to show me 30 unreleased songs that you got. Okay, for sure. You got to show me they in the vault. I was, I've been working during the pandemic now. Nah, you feel me? I got something in, in the, you know, my files, so I got you. I got you. <laughs>